What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. The Legacies has such a fan base of brand new teens that love exploring new worlds and strange, weird planets. The show is pretty unique and extraordinary with all of the unusual monsters and the diverse elements that make you fall in love with it instantly. We are all aware that these elements are not real. The crew utilize some useful tools to make it as perfect as it seems on screen. So stay with us and find out about what Legacies really looks like without CGI. Alright, it's not safe. You should go. You mean we should go? Sorry, there's no time. Don't you dare. I love you. Mameo. <laughs> Special Effects If we put it this way, most of the legacy special effects that were used are not that special effects anyway. You may confuse them with practical effects. With that said, the majority of the monsters you see in the TV series are not the creation of CGI, but instead of that, they use the perfect costumes and makeup to make them look that way. It's actually a pretty cool way of operating when you try to make a monster movie in one TV show. Instead of altering it after filming the actor in some silly suit and afterward adding the effect which seems only like a double work. This may seem like one of the better options they can use when creating such creatures. It takes way more effort than simply using great costumes that look maybe even more realistic than the CGI. On top of that, they also had the challenge to construct a pragmatic monster costume for weekly brand new creatures, respectively with adding more realistic makeup and give it the final perfect look they deserve. But on top of that, they also need to add some slight CGI effects so that it can only add and make them look as if they are quite real. Talking the fact that every single week, a very unique one-of-a-kind monster is popping up in the series, you can only imagine how much work it takes to create all of these realistic costumes. Plus, the majority of the monsters are created only to be represented once and never again. So it looks so much work for one episode. This only proves the level of focus and hard work that the crew standing behind this series gives into every single episode, respectively. The Crew and the Monsters The fact that the crew needs to invent a new monster for every next week requires a lot of inspiration and hard work. Imagine how many characters and monsters the team needs to come up with for each season. We must admit, that's a lot. And if you were wondering how they are actually doing that and from where they take the inspiration, we can say that they probably do that from various stories and legends, especially for the monsters. They use the characters as a base for the new creation. What's interesting about these monsters is that the actors must have perfect communication on stage so that they can look at the same as the writers and creators intended it to be. If something contrary to that happens, that would have an immense influence on the show and all that in a very negative manner. For instance, the monster team must know if those who were writing the script want to make a funny or perhaps scary creature. Also, they need to know the abilities of the monster and its purpose in the show. And if they don't obey that, the monster would turn out to be something absolutely different from the ones written in the script. And the whole point would be ruined, so nothing would make any sense at all. And that's not all. The crew must decide how they are going to express the needed character into the exact creation. The performers are important when creating Legacy's monsters. When the show focuses on creating CGI and other different effects, how the crew acts is not that important at all. The cast on set is actually acting as a placeholder, so there is a huge space for the crew to create the monsters after the filming finishes with CGI. What's more, even the voices of the creatures are sometimes different from the ones acting on the actual set, so it's not important at all if these actors that are representing the monsters behind the CGI are actually great actors or only amateurs. Actually, that's not important at all. But this time, that's not the case in this TV show. The actors who are behind the monsters are doing the whole work. Wearing the masks the best way possible and acting the most professional way they can. The responsibility that they carry to bring to life these characters that writers and costume creators put all of their energy into inventing is not a small thing at all, if we are being honest. On top of that, their own voices are used, so they have the obligation to perfectly do their job and utilize all their acting skills to make the character look perfect on screen. Furthermore, what comes as a surprise is that the body language is suppressed too, so some of them should not have any facial expressions while filming at all. 
So it's more than obvious that these actors need to give their all to make their character look as perfect as possible. The Necromancer in Legacies We are talking about the most deadly monster of the show, the Necromancer. This character was outstanding and extremely well written. The Ben Gurens turned into the Necromancer, and at that moment, he actually brought something really special to the character that can't be explained into words. It can only be felt. His unique voice only adds to the marvelous character, making it very sassy and breathtaking, that became a favorite among the fans of the show. This monster was not only in one episode as the other ones, because that simply wouldn't be enough for those who admire the show, and especially for those who fell in love with it. The producers decided to continuously add the character in the story, and the fans are more than happy for that. The style of the show and fans' reaction. Since the show came out, some of the fans weren't that impressed by the CGI used and the monsters the show represented. Some of them think that all of that is due to the low budget of the series, especially when talking about the first season. But nevertheless, even in the later seasons, they haven't been some extreme differences when talking about the special effects they use and how they actually turned out to be. Even though it is more than obvious that Legacies does actually have some lower budgets from other shows, especially series from this caliber, that's not the main thing important. It's the number of viewers watching it. For some series, such as The Flash, those ratings are enormous and must give a far greater budget than they would actually do to a TV show with a drastically smaller amount of audience. With that said, the possibilities of what the crew can do and cannot do in the show are limited. There are some speculations that these TV show creators vigorously go for more of a vintage fiction style. A lot of their fans have compared the show's effects to TV shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and their way of how they manage to do their work. It's not a great idea to compare two shows, especially the one filmed in the 90s and the one from today. But due to the fact that the TV show was extremely popular at the time, it might be okay this time to compare it with series like Legacies. Even though the special effects they use are quite cheap, they are still entertaining and fun to watch. So we can conclude that it truly works out for a show like this one. On a related note, we wanted to know which part was your favorite one from our video. You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.